Hi everybody, so in this video I want to tell you about scholarships at Grace Harbor College. I don't know everything, but I'll try to tell you all I know. So first of all, whenever you're ser searching for anything on a college website, the best thing to do might be to just go to the search bar and type in what you're looking for. So we're looking for scholarships, so just type that in and press enter. And here we go, right? So there are all types of scholarships. Let's start with the general scholarships from the Grace Harbor College Foundation. I'm pretty sure that Grace Harbor College gives almost more money per student than any other college you can think of, as far as I know. Um, so there are two cycles. There's a fall cycle and a spring cycle. And they open at a certain date and they close at a certain date. So you want to get your um, application in soon um, early I mean rather than late so what do you need two letters of reference with signatures um, and an essay that's the most important thing and then lots of other things and then you know you, you go you click here you fill out the form it's not ready yet um, because it, the, the because the um, opening date hasn't arrived yet when I'm making this video but um, but the two letters of reference, you want to think about getting letters maybe from faculty or, um, or employers or, or, or that. But definitely think about asking faculty for letters of reference. That would be a good way of going about it, I think. Um, and, your, and do an essay. Now, um, with help with the essay, Think about getting help, for example, from the Writing Center. So what's that? Well, let's see, ghc.edu, and I'm gonna just type in writing and see what happens. There we go, there's the Writing Center, okay? So um, clear, click here to access the Writing Center, and yeah, you might go, you might go here, and you might try to get help with writing your essay. So. I think the best thing to do would be to do your best on it and then get help and get someone to look over it and maybe suggest some improvements. Um, they tell me uh, that the foundation, that the number one reason students' scholarship applications are discarded is because of poor spelling and grammatical errors in their application. Okay, So I think that tells me that you want to get help with this. So you want to do your best with your scholarship application, and then you want to get someone to look over it. And just, just make sure there's no spelling mistakes, grammatical errors, that type of thing, okay? Um, the other thing to remember is that these scholarships are for everybody. There's a scholarship out there for everybody, okay? Any gender, any race, any, any grade point average. Um, you don't just have to be an athlete. Uh, you don't just have to be a certain type of student. We have scholarships for all types of students. Um, having said that, they're mostly for full time. Okay, so just bear that in mind. Uh, there are some scholarships for part time students, but I think that would be probably be the biggest difference. Um, and also remember that there are scholarships, you know, specifically for students whose GPA is below. 3.0 okay because somebody went to Grace Harbor College and they became rich and their GPA was always below 3 in college and so they're thinking well I'm going to provide an opportunity for for somebody like me who who has a GPA below 3 but 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 ended up being very successful in life financially so so the point is there are scholarships for each one of you out there, I'm sure. So, but but you got to get in there and spend lots of hours researching and, and applying. Now, there's all different types of scholarships. It's not just here. Look at this. Other scholarship resources. Look at all the scholarships listed here. Okay, think about applying for these. See if you qualify. There are statewide scholarships. There are nationwide scholarships. So, applying for scholarships is for everybody. It's a good thing to do. Even if you don't get anything, it's still a good it's still a good activity because it forces you to think about why you're going to college, what you're trying to achieve, 
and what is your vision for your future? And that's a good thing. It also forces you to ask for letters of reference, which is something you're going to have to do if you apply for a job anyway, right? So applying for scholarships is good for everybody, and it's 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 a good practice. It's a good thing to do. And um, another thing to think about, let's say you applied for fall and you didn't get anything. That's okay because the um the the your application will be saved and you can then um use most of what you what you wrote in your essay and, and all of your application for spring and so you can apply again right or let's say you do get money in fall well you can apply again in spring and maybe get money in spring also right so the trick i think is to don't wait until you're almost done with college you want to start the scholarship application process early in your college career. Start early and get into the habit. Your first quarter here would be great. Your second quarter here, you know. So please apply for scholarships. Please contact me for help with any of this. I'd be delighted to help you out.